What's going on guys? I'm uh, going to do a video today about how to uh, tie a bucktail trailer on a treble hook. Uh, this is kind of a request video and I was wanting to do this a few months ago. <clears throat> you can find some uh, videos on the internet about how to do this. This is really simple. Uh, you, you don't really need any special tools for this. Uh, you can get some special fly, t fly tying tools like a, like a, I think it's called like a fly vice. Uh, some kind of a fly vise uh, to hold your your treble hook, um, and you can get like a bobbin that holds your your thread. But uh, if you don't want to spend the money for that stuff, which I I didn't because that stuff's kind of expensive, um, you can do this just by using your hands. It'll make it a little bit more difficult to tie, but um, it, I don't think it's a hundred percent necessary. So um, I have a a chug bug here. It comes with a, a teaser tail on it, but I didn't like the hooks on it, so I replaced it with a Gamakatsu short shank treble hooks, and uh, I don't want to have to buy a Gamakatsu trailer hook for it, so I'll just tie some bucktail on it. So we have our trailer hook here. Um, I'm just using this little uh, clamp here. Um, you don't need this clamp, but I like to use it just to hold onto the treble hook like that. You're gonna need uh, some bucktail. Uh, this bucktail cost me five dollars and fifty cents. Uh, I also tie in flashaboo, and that was four dollars and twenty-five cents. And then just uh, boost some uh, clear nail polish from your wife or your girlfriend or from yourself if you're into that sort of thing, and uh, some thread. Thread is this thread is a dollar, uh, and you can get these at fly tying shops too. And then you'll need uh, some sharp scissors and uh, a razor blade. So let's go ahead and get started with this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and bring off uh, a length of this thread, and I put it back into that little notch in there when I'm using it because it just kind of helps keep everything uh, keep keep everything in line so you take your um, you take your treble hook <clears throat> and what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the thread over the top of it like this and then just pull a little bit of it out like that and then what you'll do is you'll tie it just loop it around the neck of where the eyelet is. Let's make sure we got that. There we go. So loop it around the, the neck of where the eyelet is and wrap it about four or five different times and then start making your way down the shank probably about an eighth of an inch or so and then wrap it back up to the neck and you don't have to wrap it a ton of times it's just to get this thing started and and to get it um, to where the thread's not going to come off. Now what you're going to do is, uh, I think it's just called an overhand where you, uh, you, I just take it like this, make a loop around my finger, and you're just making a loop inside the, inside the, the thread. And you're going to take that and you're going to thread it and just uh, pull that loop over the top. And you're going to do that twice. And what that's going to do is just, it's going to make that thread not go anywhere it's gonna make it not unravel anymore so go ahead and take a look at what we did there here we go there we go you can kinda of see what we're trying to do here I need to do something about that light right there what if I put that right there? There we go. So now we can kind of see what I'm trying to do here. Okay. So now we'll just take this, set it back into our little clamp, and then you just take your nail polish. <clears throat> and put just one, one little drop on it. And that's going to keep it from unraveling. Just blow it dry 
and then this is where your razor blade is going to come in into use. So just take your razor blade and cut that off. So now you're going to take your flashaboo. The flashaboo is just these pearl strands. Uh, don't pull them out of this. Make sure you cut them because if you start pulling them out of, out of this ring here, then the whole thing's going to come unravel and it's going to be a big mess. I start out by taking 10, 10 strands off of here. So I just pull off a bit like this. And then I count up 10 strands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have <clears throat> 10 strands. And then just wet it down. And then you take it and you're just going to cut it right towards the very end. Okay, show you what this looks like. So now you're going to double back, double it back over like that. And then you're going to cut that loop. Wet it down again. And then double it back over again. So you're going to have about two inches on either side. And so you should have a total of like 40 strands here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take this flashaboo and double it back over the thread like this and then pull it down to where it's sitting you want both of them just sitting in that notch right there so you want both of your sides of your strand sitting right in here inside of that notch right there and then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, pull tight for a second. Just pull it out so where it's all the way the it's all the way up at the neck of the shank, and then wrap loosely once, and then pull it tight, and then just start wrapping up towards the neck. Give it a few good wraps, and then you're going to do a couple of overhand knots again. Just two will be fine. So you have your two overhand knots and your flashaboo hanging off of just one side of the of the treble hook. Now, <clears throat> I got this down uh, for for me. This is kind of down to a science for me. I've done it dozens and dozens of times, so it's this works for me to put it just down one side like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flat or the bucktail, and I'm going to split it down this hook here. Because I want the whole thing to be even. I want it to wrap evenly around this hook shank. So, okay. All right, stand by.